Good morning, students. Today, we are going to write a narrative, a story. When you're writing a story, first, you have to think of a true story that's really happened in your life. So you think back. Hmm. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be a huge trip to Disney World. It's an everyday story from your life. Then you picture it in your head. You touch the page and you say how the story goes. Then you put it on the paper. You can look at mine and see that I have a quick sketch here so that I don't forget my story. A story has the same characters from the beginning to the end. And in kindergarten, it should have probably the same setting through the beginning to the end. It's not just a list of places that you went. Let's see if you can tell me my story from our pictures. So I have three pages. The first is the beginning. In the beginning, I'm going to tell you my characters and my setting. Hmm. Here's me. Let me put a label over my head. That one's me. Here's Giovanni. J. J. Jov. Jovan. Jovan. Jovan E. And here's Gabriella. G. G. Gab. Gab. Gabri. Gabri. L, uh, here we go. And where are we? We're at the beach, definitely. So let's think of a nice sentence that I could say about this story for our beginning. Oh, one day I took the kids to the beach. Hmm, day, I'm gonna need a label for that. I think I'll put it over here next to the sun because I don't have sun in my sentence, so I don't need a label for that. One day, oh, and it was hot. It was sunny. I think I'm gonna put hot and sunny as labels too. That way I can talk about the time and place for my setting. One hot, sunny day. One hot, hot, hot. One hot, sunny, sun, sun. Sunny, and it was day. That's a sight word, D-A-Y. But I don't want to forget to put it in my sentence, so I'll go ahead and put it here. Most of the time, we are not going to put labels that are sight words inside of our rectangle. So I'll touch the page and say my story again. One hot, sunny day, I took the kids to the beach. I might need a label for kids and I might need a label for beach. I think I'll put my label for kids down here, near my children. K kid. And there's more than one of them, so I'll put an S. And where did I take them? To the beach. B -e -ch -ch. Okay, one hot sunny day, I took the kids to the beach. I have enough labels there for my sentence. Did I tell you the time and the place and the characters? I did, it's a good beginning. The middle of the story usually says something that is happening. Hmm, what did we do at the beach? You're right, Giovanni built a sand castle and the baby and I played in the sand. Sand castle. I need a label for sand castle. S and, the sight word and hides in there. S and, A-N-D. Sand castle, C castle. C sand ca castle. Sand castle, and the baby, ba 
E, baby, and I played in the sand. And so that's going to be my middle page sentence. Giovanni built a sandcastle. Oh, built, that's the action word, built. Can you say built? Built. I hear four sounds. B ilt. So I can touch the page and I can say my sentence. And if I needed to label his name, I've already stretched it out. I don't need to do that again. I could copy it from that page if I needed to. Did you notice I was using all lowercase letters on this page? Because I don't have anybody's name. And I know that I use mostly lowercase letters in my writing. I only need one uppercase letter per sentence. It's the first letter in the sentence. Or, of course, if it's in somebody's name, I would use one uppercase letter. So, we know that one day I took my kids to the beach. Giovanni built a sandcastle. I played with the baby in the sand. I don't need a label for played because play is a sight word. At the end, what did we do? We rested in the sun. We relaxed. Well, I think I'm going to use relaxed. That's a nice vocabulary word. At the end of a story, we often say how we felt about the story. How do you think we felt? Happy. It was very nice. So let's get some labels in there. We'll touch the page and say the sentence. We relaxed in the sun. It was nice. Relaxed. R relaxed. Rel rela ah. Relax. Relaxed. We relaxed in the sun. It was nice. Nice. I'm going to put that over here near my smile. Nice. Nice. Later, I can take those labels and turn them into sentences. When I get this piece of writing out next time, I'll have to read all my labels and tell the story to myself again. Thanks, writers. Do you think that you can draw a quick picture for your beginning, your middle, and your end? Remember, it should have the same characters and setting through the whole story. You want your beginning, middle, and end to be in the right order. After you have your pictures, make sure that you remember to go back, touch the page, say your sentence again, and figure out what words you should label. Stretch out those labels. The sentences are last. The coloring is even after that. I don't want to color before I do my labels. I won't have room to put the labels in. I can't wait to see your writing.